I'm making orange juice. You can see I'm just going to fill this jar up here. And then I'm going to do something I like to call drinking it. So, what I got is some Valencias. And we have a citrus star juicer. So, having a late dinner. I've been drinking juice all day with uh, some spodes, some white spodes, spodes, spodes. How do you pronounce it? So I'm, I'm, I've been enjoying making the videos. Hope you're enjoying them too. And I'm just uh, trying not to make a mess. Easy to do. See, I can already be making one. Watch this. Oh, it's plugged. See? That's better. One second. Wash off here. I'll show you that goodness. Give you the close up. See, we can give you a close up here. See how it works? Scoops out the inside, juice comes right out there. That's about. What I like about this one is once your jar is full, you just plug it up. But yeah, that's what's going on here. So I got a quick question. Well, actually, first of all, uh, thanks for watching the videos. I know I've been absent for a very long time. Truth is, I haven't really been following the vegan diet for a while, and that's because, well, I shouldn't say I haven't been following it, I've wanted to be following it, but I've been working construction, and found that, uh, well, I'll make another video about this, but I found that the consciousness of construction brought my consciousness down because I allowed it to, and thus I needed to make uh, a, different, a difference in my life, vibrationally speaking, in order to lessen the effect of the the people I surrounded myself with whose vibration is quite dense uh, we're all on our path I'm not saying dense vibrations is a bad thing it's all just everybody's individual journey now what I was like what I was thinking is uh, I wanted to one I was wondering if you guys are are enjoying the Barry Coral videos I think he's I think he's a star and I think he deserves his own YouTube channel I would like to actually help him with that. But I got a question for you. A real question. So, I said to Chad earlier, I said, we were talking about watermelon and melons in general and how when we eat them, we get skin flaking on our nose. And if that happens to you, then you're probably a mutant and you should probably go to the doctor or and let them tell you what you need to do and then disregard anything they say but uh, no we were actually just saying how uh, watermelon or any melon we eat generally papaya and watermelon comes out orange or red depending on which one you eat and uh, is that something that happens to you too he was asking me if that's normal I said it happens to me but I don't know if that's normal I think it's just the fact that either the enzymes are lacking in our body or our pancreas or the food or a combination of both so what do you think which one is it another question for you is this is this that was a segue question to this next question so we continued our discussion and then I and then I got to thinking you know real healing comes from something beyond the self or it's the self but okay let's just put it out on the table I think God gives us true healing. That's my own personal belief. Now the question I have is, does God give us healing from cosmic rays or you know, God's energy? Or does God lead us to eating well in the physical sense? And that is God physically healing us. Now that's a broad way and off the top of my head, off the cuff way of saying asking the question now if you get the question and you want to give an answer please leave a comment below and we can have a discussion about this 
I personally believe if somebody's soul is the star of the show and they truthfully, uh, not truthfully, if they, if they're the type that lets their soul be the, uh, yeah, the star of the show, sorry, I was trying to, I was thinking a couple thoughts at the same time, because it's all off the top of my head, like I said, and, uh, because you have the true self and the false self. The false self is your false ego, which is your greed, your attachment, your vanity, your lust, and your anger. Now, anytime you allow those extremes, any of those to exist in extremes, they're not a, absolutely avoidable because you do have a physical body and they are physical reality experiences of duality. Well, so somebody who is beyond duality and living the path of dharma possibly it's probable that they could re receive healing as many of us can and are all capable of we can receive healing from higher dimensions higher realities so to speak which is essentially god but as for a beginner God possibly leads us to healing through fruits and vegetables, the raw food diet. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Answer, I will answer any questions you have. Uh, I'm thinking of changing my YouTube channel because for various reasons. We can talk about that too. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.